everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. In today's video, I'll be discussing ways to quickly dry your locks. Now when I say quickly, I mean relatively quickly. You know, it is a process with locks. Our hair is like sponges, so it takes a while for our hair to really dry. These tips are going to be conscious of the fact that, you know, over usage of artificial heat can be damaging. Over wringing your hair can cause your hair to thin out. Not drying your locks properly can lead to mildew in your locks. So here's what I do to avoid all of those things. Be sure to take advantage of my holiday sale, which will be going on up until January 1st, 2018. Oh my gosh, the year's almost over. 20% off with my coupon code GRATEFUL, www.lovelightlocks.storeenvy.com. Stock up on your infinity head wraps, get copies of my book, and more. My tank tops, lock jewelry, of course. Shop. So here's my first tip. Squeeze out as much water as you possibly can. And when I say squeeze, I mean squeeze do not ring. Now the way that I maximize the amount of water I'm able to squeeze out is I section my hair into four. You know you can make your sections according to the thickness of your locks and I just squeeze out as much water as I can. I start from the roots and work my way down and I do that a few times. Ringing your locks can cause your hairs to tear and thin out over time so I highly recommend that you avoid doing that <laughs> as much as you can. Just squeeze. Now after I squeeze out all the water that I possibly could, then I towel dry my hair. I have my hair in a towel and I'll allow it to sit in the towel for about a half an hour and I let the towel soak up as much water as it can. Now the towel I like to use is a microfiber towel. Microfiber towels will not leave lint in your hair. Keep that in mind. If you don't have access to a microfiber towel, you may want to use a t-shirt. T-shirts, cotton t-shirts, will absorb the water from your hair without depositing lint into your hair. If you don't want to use a microfiber towel or a t-shirt, you want to use a towel, use a dark towel, not a white towel, especially if your locks are dark. Now, a lot of people at this point like to oil their scalp and oil their hair which I completely understand is actually the ideal time to oil your hair in my opinion I find that my hair responds better to being oiled while it's damp however oiling your hair while it's wet will absolutely absolutely lengthen the time that it takes to dry so I would recommend that you skip oiling it while it's in the drying process. Once your hair is completely dry, then I will go back and mist it lightly with water and then oil it at that point. But I wouldn't oil it before my hair has completely dried, if I'm looking to speed up my drying process, that is. My next tip is to air dry your hair as much as you can. And when I say air dry, I do mean to leave it out and open to the air. But I don't necessarily recommend this if you're not going to be moving around. If you're going to be sitting down, especially if you're trying to lay down, I don't recommend that you air dry at this point. Air drying, in my opinion, is best when you're going to go outside. If you're going to go run some errands, if you're going to go for a walk, if you're going... To, even if you're in your house, if, if you're moving around, then I recommend that at that point because you're actually going to be getting some air circulation through your hair. With it being the colder months now, I get it, you don't really want to go outside with a wet head, it's not very comfortable, you don't want to get sick. But um, while you're in the house, you may have artificial heat going around in the house, whether you have a space heater or you know heat coming from the radiators or whatever. That heat will actually help your hair dry, so that's a bonus. Now obviously an overhead dryer, sitting under an overhead dryer will help your hair dry quickly although it may cause your hair to get heat damage. I personally do not like sitting under a overhead dryer. I have one but I don't like to use it. I would rather use a handheld blow dryer and just use it sporadically. So I wouldn't dedicate an hour to drying my hair with, the, with artificial heat. I would just maybe blow dry it for 10 minutes run around, do whatever I have to do, and then maybe 
a couple of hours later I would come back and blow dry it again for another 10 minutes or so and I would do that throughout the day so I'm not sitting under the dryer letting my hair bake <laughs> now if it was summertime springtime I would be outside and the sun will absolutely help my hair dry quicker but that's not a luxury that I have right now I don't know where you are in the world watching this or where or when you're watching this so keep that in mind take advantage of the summertime and get outside in the sun if not take advantage of the the artificial heat coming up in your house from this the heaters and the radiators now lastly you want to lay down you're chilling you're macking you want to take a nap you want to go to sleep for the night do not cover your hair let your hair out hope you have a satin pillowcase you can just when you're laying down on the pillowcase, I like to spread my locks out on them. I may put a scarf around my edges to keep my edges smooth if I choose to do so. For the most part, I won't even do that, to be honest. With my satin pillowcase, I'm good. I just spread it all out and let it to continue drying that way. Now, now the reason why you don't want to cover your hair, you may think that your hair is completely dried, but maybe it's not maybe it's not and you covering your hair overnight may encourage the growth of mildew and we don't want that obviously that's gross it stinks it's not fun quick tip i recommend that you wash your hair first thing in the morning so you have the full day to allow your hair to dry washing your hair at night mm, now you're gonna go to bed with a wet head not ideal so that's it that is what i do those are my tips if you have any other tips on drying your locks quickly, leave them below in the comments. Let's share. Be sure to take advantage of my holiday sale, which will be going on up until January 1st, 2018. Oh my gosh, the year's almost over. 20% off with my coupon code GRATEFUL. www.lovelightlocks.storeenvy.com Stock up on your infinity head wraps, get copies of my book, and more tank tops, lock jewelry of course, shop. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.